I'm here actually in our 343 play lab with Dan Ayub and Max Schlager from the Halo Wars 2 team uh, to start off what overall is Blitz mode, high level. Sure, yeah, no, I mean, at a high level, uh, what Blitz is effectively is a very simple, very fast way to play RTS. We finally got to the notion of what if we could build a mode without base building, without, you know, tech trees, without resource management and things like that, and just make it very, very simple, very, very snappy. Yeah. And the goal was to have something you could play in like five to seven minutes, like a really, really quick game. And uh, that's how Blitz was born, right? We awesome. fell into this notion of a card metaphor because everybody gets cards. Yeah. And uh, it just kind of went from there. So now when you say cards, obviously one of the things that people immediately jump to, especially from recent Halo experiences, they'll think like, oh, this sounds maybe kind of similar to rec cards. So we're all familiar and the you know fans back home are familiar with rec cards. Kind of what is the, what are some of the main differences between your your blitz cards in Halo Wars 2 versus your rec cards in, in Halo 5. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, our cards effectively, they construct the, the bones of what is your deck for um, playing with a specific leader and the units that you deploy, the powers you use, they're durable. So once you get them, you know, they become something that you can then use and, and nice. put into your deck. And um, the loop is great in terms of how you come in and you think about you know, what is the leader I want? What's the strategy I'm going for? How do I mix and match that with my teammates? And um, it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly different system in the way that you build up this army over time. Yeah, I think the, the other thing that I think that I really personally enjoy about it, the two things is you can get decks anywhere in the game, yeah. not just in Blood, so you get them to play in campaign and things like that. And the other thing I think that's really fun is that uh, we wanted duplicates to be actually interesting. So actually duplicates will level your card up. So nice. if okay. you get like a bunch of Warthogs, your Warthog's going to get more powerful and you'll see it level up and get faster and do more damage and things like that. So that notion of duplicates gets really interesting. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's just about what, are the, what do I want to bring to the fight, right? What's my deck going to be? And where we see things get really fun, if like Max and I are playing together, you start to get that group strategy of like, okay, I'm going to put in these kinds of cards. You have those cards. How do they work together? Yeah, I would imagine that, yeah, you kind of build that deck much like... Uh, much like actually in Halo 5 where you think like, oh, if I'm going into play Warzone or Warzone Assault or Warzone Firefight, I kind of imagine in my head, well, these are the wrecks I really kind of lean on maybe in these different modes. So that probably is analogous to how you would use the leaders, I would imagine, in those scenarios. Yeah, like different leaders are good at different things, yeah. right? So you kind of choose a leader based on what you want to do when you build a deck around your personal style, right? So you can build a very you know, overwhelmingly powerful deck with a lot of big heavy units. But those units are going to be more costly, so it's going to take you more time to get them out, or you can go to the other extreme and just do a bunch of really fast units. Uh, so it's really up to the player how they want to go. Now, you said something about cost. If you can speak a little bit to, like, what do you mean by, like, calling in a, because, you know, again, with, with rec cards, mm -hmm. some of that is gated by yeah. more powerful units having a, a larger cost to come in. What's, uh, what is that kind of gating functionality in Blitz mode? Yeah, so in Blitz mode, you know, you, you have effectively a small starting arm that you get, and then you have the cards that you can deploy. Cards cost energy to deploy, and uh, you have a very kind of uh, basic energy system that manages when you can deploy those cards. Um, a lot of the game mode is about map control, it's about the capture points, as well as the resource captures. So how many players can play Blitz? Up to 3v3. Awesome, awesome. And, and you can do skirmish modes as well. Where you yeah. can play with okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, so it's not just a PvP, you also have the PvE, which is our essentially like a firefight mode. That's right. right. Awesome. Now, we talked a little bit about like uh, season pass and future content. Will there be more Blitz units coming with that? Yeah, we're really excited about the season's pass. So there's a lot of things in the season's pass. One of them is going to be a campaign expansion, so you're going to get a little bit more, <laughs> more of the campaign. Uh, we're also going to have new leaders, new units, new Blitz cards. Awesome. So basically, uh, every month, all of the modes of the game will get fed, if you want, if you will. So, uh, you know, multiplayer is going to get new stuff, Blitz is going to get new stuff, campaign will get new stuff, uh, yeah. although not every month. That's awesome. So before we close, uh, like, favorite part, any crazy moments that have happened in, in playtesting? Lots of crazy moments have happened. I think really what's uh, fantastic about Blitz mode, though, is that every single time we playtest, there's new strategies that emerge, new things that we learn. Yeah. And that's really where a lot of that depth come in, because we can get in a lot of those matches you know, they're really quick, uh, but there's just so many cool things that happen just, you know, when you're playing 1v1, 2v2, you know, firefight, um, and it's just really exciting. We're looking forward to seeing what players do with all the really cool cards and strategies that are available. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Uh, and speaking of playtesting, the, these guys are going to get their chance to get their hands on it. Very soon-ish, soon right? Yeah, early into the new year, uh, okay. we're going to be doing a Blitz beta. 
uh, on console and PC. Awesome. So everybody's going to get a chance to play it. And uh, yeah, we can't wait. So we're actually showing Blitz on the floor now at events. Yeah. Uh, so people can play like Blitz Firefight and see what that's like. But we're really excited for the one in the new year because we learned so much from the first one, right? I mean, oh, you incredible. Know, we made a ton of tweaks and changes to the game as a result of it. Uh, so we're really excited for I think Young Burke is just going to come in and, and dominate everyone. <laughs> kind of what's probably pro pro happening. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's probably already at a show somewhere practicing. Awesome. We're watching you. Well, thank <laughs> you guys so much for uh, for joining us. Uh, really, really looking forward to it.